Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create mainly beauty videos, fragrance, and lifestyle vlogs. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you too can become a socialite. So today's video is going to be one of my favorite videos to record for the month which is my monthly favorites. So this is going to be my favorite items that I've tried out in the month of August and I do have a couple misses as well. Every single thing that I mentioned today will be linked down below in the description box including the shade that I wear so be sure to check that out so yeah if you want to see my mostly hits and some misses for the month of August then keep on watching so we're gonna start off with makeup this is the product that I've probably been loving more than anything that I've tried and it's the LYS natural finish spray you guys this is a really good spray it's one of those setting sprays that does exactly what they say it's gonna do it's supposed to blur mattify and set and it does all of those things when I first tested it out I had my makeup on for already like four or five hours so you know how you have those natural oils start to come through not really oils or my skin didn't look oily but it had that shine to it you know that natural shine that your skin looks gets you know after a few hours and as soon as it came in the mail I tested it out sprayed it all over and it just instantly gave it a soft matte appearance and I was like okay yeah it does mattify it sets it in place this is one that you can supposedly used before makeup I've never tried it for that but it melts your makeup so beautifully into the skin I've actually been picking this up a lot more than my Charlotte Tilbury since I got it it's a really good setting spray I highly recommend it next product is the zero to brow gel from NYX now this is the new brow gel that's been sort of going viral I've heard a lot of people talking about it it's supposed to keep your brows in place for two days it is double ended one side does have have a spoolie and the other side is actually a doe foot applicator that deposits color this is um, unfortunately a miss for me I find that it's sort of messy when it, you put it on your brow and try to blend it it kind of gets on your skin the color I got is espresso and it's extremely dark so dark to where it was just it just started looking muddy on me kind of messy and it never did quite set all the way well it sets but to like a light hold it just wasn't what I expected so this one is a miss for me the next product is one that was also on my July favorites but I had to put it on August favorites as well because I hadn't been able to put this down and if you were thinking about the zero to brow that one is not really good like I just told you but if you needed something that will truly help your brows to last for two days consider the Ardell brow brow glue lamination lift I can't say enough good things about it keeps your brows in place gives you a strong hold that lasts up to two days if you let it it's just really good it doesn't leave the, that cast that white cast on your brows like some products do like I said it was on my July favorites definitely has to go on my August favorites as well I, I want to get another one <laughs> scared for this to run out and I've noticed when I check on the site to do my links in the description box sometimes it sells out on walmart.com so next time it's in stock it may be in stock now I'm gonna order another one because this is one that I don't want to be without next up is another product that was also on July favorites which is the elf liquid poreless putty primer this is another one that I haven't been able to put down this is a really good primer fills in the pores feels look sort of luxurious on the skin as well gives you a smooth complexion it helps your makeup to last a little bit longer keeps the shine away I really like this one this is a good this was a surprisingly good well I guess not a surprise elf just makes good primers but this one is no different it's really good it doesn't have that sort of stickiness like their power grip but it's different it, it, it more so mattifies and helps things just to lay flat but this is a really good one you guys and for ten dollars you can't beat it I love it next product is another elf primer <laughs> we got two elf primers on this favorites this is the elf jelly pop dew primer you guys this truly gives you a dewy look the thing I love about this product is I feel like somebody who has oily skin 
could still wear this because it still keeps you from getting oily but it, it creates that barrier on the skin but at the same time any foundation you put on top let's say let's say you have oily skin and, and you're wanting to wear a matte foundation you could still put a little bit of this underneath and give your skin that natural glow without your skin getting oily because it still has those oil control properties in it gives your skin a beautiful soft glowy appearance this is gorgeous it makes your skin look like that yummy skin look i love this primer you guys it was limited edition i think elf should make this a permanent product that's just how good it is i was able to try the essence bronzer stick the baby got bronzer i have mine in the shade mocha me crazy this is the darkest shade that they have it gives me a subtle contour look it's only just a little bit dark i know it looks pretty dark but it's not super dark like you see that's it right there so it gives me a subtle contour like a subtle bronzy look which i love i don't like a super big contrast or like super deep bronzers and contours i like mine sort of subtle and this gives that it stays in place i like that you can get that great structure especially with the nose because it doesn't move and slide all over the place but then it's buildable as well it does have a watermelon scent which i'm not crazy about because i don't like the smell of watermelon but it dies off after a minute or two so it doesn't bother me but it's a really good product especially for five dollars mac launched a new foundation this month which is the mac studio radiance serum serum powered foundation which i'm a fan of um i just like these sort of products you guys it lasts for a decent amount of time it gives you a beautiful skin like look with a healthy glow to the skin this one closely resembles the lancome care and glow foundation so if you have lancome care and glow you probably don't need this one because it gives you almost an identical look and feels to the skin and coverage <laughs> they're super similar i feel like everybody's coming out with this sort of foundation but i'm a fan of these sort of products and it's a yes for me if you want to see the full review you can go ahead and click on that link right there i was able to test out the l'oreal tinted serum with hyaluronic acid in it this one's really good as well i do have a full review up you can click that link right there if you want to check it out but i'm actually wearing it today it's a beautiful product you get about a medium coverage with it definitely won't get full coverage but it has a nice glow to it looks very radiant and skin like I'm a fan and too y'all I didn't break out with this no reaction it doesn't clog my pores so especially for the price you may want to check this one out if you're looking for a more affordable option of a glowy looking foundation I was finally able to try out one of elf's satin lipsticks these have been going viral for so long now I picked up the color hustle which is the shade that I'm wearing today beautiful shade this is a quality product I'm not saying quality for elf I'm saying quality in general not only is the packaging really luxe with this soft matte black packaging silver lettering on there silver metallic lettering on here it has a magnetic cap the product is smooth doesn't skip it's pigmented it's creamy it's luscious on the lips this is really good i do want to try another shade fenty launched their ease drop stitch so this is it you do have to keep this thing on top of it the little inside cap you're supposed to keep it on top of it so it doesn't dry out in case you guys didn't know that but this is a very skin like product that gives you about a medium coverage looks gorgeous on the skin this is probably the foundation that looks the most like dry skin than anything I own in my collection probably like a couple months ago one of my friends said you should probably do a tutorial on this was back when Queen Charlotte first came out and she was like you should probably do a uh, makeup tutorial on like a Queen Charlotte look and you know their looks in the show was just very natural something that looks like skin and sometimes it's actually hard to find a foundation that just looks like dry human skin not dry that looks flaky but just straight up skin like how your arm looks 
this is what this Fenty Ease Drop stick is giving. It's giving real life skin that has no makeup on it. This is the most undetectable foundation product that I own and I do highly recommend it. It's a really good one and I feel like if you have oily skin you can get away with this one as well. So if I was to do a Queen Charlotte look this would be the foundation. If I was hired to be on the set of that show this is the foundation that I would use for the actresses on there just because it's giving in real life skin it's not gonna look nothing like makeup okay that's it for makeup so we're gonna move on to skincare and then fragrances so for skincare I only really have one product which is the Ule Hendrickson transform this is their glow 2o dark spot toner with high potency AHAs in it this is really good um, I did have a crazy breakout about three weeks ago I picked at the breakout and I just got all these dark spots around here forehead and a little bit on this side you guys and I can already see a difference I've been using it for three weeks now so this is how much I've used in the three weeks and it's really good it's just a toner I wash my face really good use this to tone and then go in with my serums and moisturizers but I'm enjoying this the first week I was like oh I don't see a difference you know what I mean I'm one of those people that I have to see a noticeable difference the same day <laughs> which is really not reasonable to say for dark spots but after three weeks I see a noticeable difference so I'm going to continue to use this until the bottle is up and hopefully within the next month or so the dark spots will be pretty much gone and just an honorable mention I told, told you guys about this so so much this is a newer bottle I got this one about four weeks ago three or four weeks ago as well this is the Peter Thomas Roth anti-aging cleansing gel I only use this cleanser when I'm having issues with my skin like now um, so these two together is what I've been using and like I said my spots are just noticeably lighter and so I couldn't be happier okay y'all so moving on to fragrance I do want to start off by showing you guys this EOS shea butter 24 hour moisture body lotion this one is in the vanilla cashmere scent now I have been seeing this all over social media and I've been meaning to tell you guys about this when I did my Walmart haul because this was one of the items I got in the Walmart haul because I had heard so much about it you guys when I tell you the hype is so real oh Y'all, this has the most beautiful, almost like a vanilla cupcake yummy smell that lasts on your skin. When you put this on, I always put it on when I get out of the shower at night. Smells up my whole room and I can still smell it on me when I wake up in the morning. Not only does it smell amazing, but it's extremely moisturizing. So when I moisturize with the lotion at night, the next day I don't even have to put lotion on because I'm good for the next day. That's how good this is. It's just as moisturizing as it is beautifully fragrant. I highly recommend this. I definitely want to get it in another scent. So I've been using this for about three or four weeks now and I can feel sort of y'all this has to be at least half gone I use it generously just because it just feels so plushy lushy you probably don't even have to use that much but I do highly recommend this the hype is absolutely real on it so check this out and it does say that it's made for sensitive skin I didn't see that but my daughter pointed that out because she suffers from really sensitive skin and eczema so we're going to test this out on her just to see because I do have a video coming up soon on products to smell good if you have sensitive skin so I'll test this out and keep you guys posted Gucci just launched their Gucci flora gorgeous magnolia fragrance you guys this is what it looks like I'll pop a picture of the full-size bottle very beautiful sugary sweet almost syrupy <laughs> sugary sweet floral very beautiful perfect for every day perfect for spring and summer tiny bit of musk in it just enough to make it smell expensive it also smells really rich you guys this is a good sweet pretty girl fragrance if you're into those sugary sweet fruity florals you would probably love this one thing to note is the fragrance probably 
you may get three hours of wear. So this is one that I would recommend. Keep it in your purse and every few hours spray yourself down because the scent does sort of fade off really quick. Moving on to Burberry Goddess. Now this has taken the internet by storm. This is another one where the hype is real. This paired with this is like a match made in heaven. So beautiful together to pair something vanilla like underneath. But this is just a beautiful, slight woodsy, very sweet, feminine, floral, vanilla floral. It's just beautiful. This one is up there in the category of Mon Guerlain. This one is in the category of K. Ali, the wedding silk Santal. This is what it reminds you of. Sort of reminds you of Donna born in Roma from Valentino. That's the category that I would put this in. It's equally as beautiful as all of those, if not better, y'all. This is a beautiful, gorgeous scent. Surprise release. You know, it's like nobody even know, knew Burberry was coming out with a scent, but we instantly all picked it up and couldn't be happier. This is a really good one. I highly recommend this one. And it lasts pretty good. You get about six five six hours on it if you know maybe a few hours more on your clothes if you already have like silk santal from kaali or you know if you already have mongerlan or something like that you don't necessarily need this one to be honest but if you just want to add something like that into your uh fragrance collection because those are the scents you love then go ahead and pick this up it's beautiful dolce and gabbana le Ampertise or Ampertrice, they released the travel size in this fragrance so I picked it up this is what it looks like it is a fruity floral it's a straight up fruity floral balm it's sweet it's light and airy a little bit on the airier side so it's it's not aquatic but it's water like you know like it's so airy and watery not like beach water but like drinking water <laughs> just airy like that you know what i mean it's really pretty but the fruits in here is strawberry and watermelon i'm not a watermelon fan but i can still smell the strawberry in it um i thought i'd be able to get away with it because the strawberry and the other notes and it's really pretty but i just can't get past you know the 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 watery watermelon in there so if you like watermelon and fruity scents you would probably love this but i'll probably give it to my 11 year old it's it's that light and upbeat to where a grown woman could wear it but also you know a teenager or you know 10 11 year old could wear it, but it's definitely appropriate for a 40 year old as well if you get what i mean but just because I have my own personal thing with watermelon I can't you know to be smelling like this for hours is just sort of nauseating to me so it's a really pretty pretty fragrance it's just the watermelon note I can't so that's it for my August hits and misses hopefully you guys enjoyed this video comment down below let me know something you tried this month and what do you think about it every single thing that I mentioned today will be linked down below in the description box including the shades that I wear so be sure to check that out if you're new here welcome i would love for you to come back watch some more videos come join the family by hitting the subscribe button thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one I don't have the arm